<laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for being here from the bottom of my heart. But what a celebration. <laughs> We are here to celebrate tonight, but not just the victory of a political party, but we are celebrating the victory of a new day for our Commonwealth and for our country. We're here to celebrate a renewed commitment to restore American strength in our economy, at our borders, in our community, and on the world stage but I certainly wouldn't be here to celebrate with all of you without a few key people in this room. First and foremost, I have to thank my husband, Steve Kiggins. <laughs> For his never ending support and the thousands of doors this guy knocked on and for me. <laughs> being the, the guy who made dinner and folded the laundry and supported me every single step of the way. So thank you so much to my husband. I love you very much. <laughs> and thank you to my kids who are here. I have Abby and Kate who are with us tonight. <laughs> And we also have Jake at the Naval Academy and Josh at the Virginia Military Institute who are watching virtually. Hi guys, I love you. Thank you so much to my kids for their support and the many, many days that you did your homework when I wasn't home and that you made yourselves dinner and that you did your own laundry. I appreciate all your never ending support <laughs> to my family. And gosh, thank you to my my parents who are here, mom and dad, I certainly wouldn't be here without you. And my sister who's here, my brother who I know is watching. So everything that, and the person who I am, I wouldn't be without, without my family who raised me. So I really owe everything to them. And gosh, to my team, I mean, I have an incredible team. Let's hear it for my team. <laughs> I could spend hours. I mean, these guys, I did not do this alone by any means, and I have never worked with these, some of these most hardworking people that I have just had the privilege and honor every single day to fight this fight with my team. You know who you are, but thank you for every single thing and in every way you helped. And then, gosh, to the volunteers, to those of you in this room who worked a poll for us today, or who knocked on doors for us, or who made phone calls for us, put signs in your yard, put magnets on your car, for shared our social media, for, got out, for people who got out there and brought your friends to the polls, thank you so much, because I certainly wouldn't be here without our amazing group of volunteers. And then to the people of the second district who voted, Thank you to all of you. Thank you for voting today. For those of you who didn't vote for me, you know, I really look forward to representing you in the halls of Congress as well. And I look forward to earning your respect and to earning your support over the next few months. I'd like to especially thank my opponent, Elaine Luria, who fought a, a hard fought battle in this race. And although we may differ in our political ideologies, we certainly share a love for our Navy and a love for our country. I, w I do wish my opponent well in her future political or future career and future endeavors, and I thank her for all of her years of public service. So tonight we celebrate, but, <laughs> but tomorrow, tomorrow starts the real work of restoring American strength. And my mission over the next two years is to work every day to restore that strong economy and restore that strength in our border and restore that strength in our communities and restore our strength on the world stage. <laughs> you know, I'm, pr 
I am so proud of the campaign that we ran, right? We ran a positive race. <laughs> we ran a race that was based on facts. And we also ran a race where we were outspent, but we were never outworked. <laughs> And we ran a race where we spoke to the voters each and every day about the issues that they cared about. And that's why they showed up, and that's why they voted, and that's why we won. <laughs> and every day, I was reminded why the reason, for the reasons why I got off my couch and why I ran. You know, I ran for that grandfather that I talked to in the restaurant who was there with his grandkids, and he said, you know, I'm the babysitter for my grandkids because my daughter had to go out and get a second job. And I ran for the grandmother who I talked to in the grocery store who showed me her card of groceries and said, with my retirement income, I can only afford half as much as I used to in my cart. And I ran for the dad who sent me an email and said, my son died of a fentanyl overdose, and it should have been prevented. And I ran for the wife that I talked to, who was married to a law enforcement officer, who said, every night I worry about my husband when he goes to work, but I understand how important it is, the job that he's doing for our community. And I ran for the teacher, who was tired of the education mandates, and who was tired of her low salary, but said, you know, I love my students. I love those kids. So I'm going to keep teaching and keep going to work. And I ran for the moms who came up to me so often who said, you know, my daughter's in the Navy, my son is in the Marine Corps, and I'm a mom on a mission too. And thank you so much for looking out for my kids and for protecting my kids and for having their backs. You know, I ran because I believe that America is good, and I believe that freedom is good. I ran because I want people finding jobs, and I want businesses creating opportunities, and I want families to be able to raise their kids in safe and secure neighborhoods. And I ran because I believe it's important to focus on the things that unite us and not what divides us. And I believe that that's what's best for our country. And I ran because it's wrong to demonize people with different political ideologies and to weaponize our beliefs against each other. I ran because I believe it's so important to lead by example. And I was reminded by that of that so many days when kids would come up to me at the grocery stores and even today at the polls and they said they knew lines from my political ads. They were watching. <laughs> they watch what we do. We have to lead by example. It's so important. I can't wait to lead with, with an example. I ran because I'm a mom to four kids, and I want my kids to grow up in a country that they love and to raise their families in a country that my grandkids will love. And I want them to understand that the gift that's been given to them, that they live in the greatest country on earth. And my promise to you is that I will always work to help Virginia families and to stand up for our kids. And my promise to you is that I wake, will wake up every single day and I will work to restore our strength in our economy and at our border and in our communities and on the world stage. And my life has been about service. I've been so blessed. It's been about service to my country as a Navy pilot. It's been about service to my family as a wife and as a mom to four. And it's been about service to my community as a geriatric nurse practitioner and as a state senator. And I thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to serve you yet again. And it's the honor of a lifetime to represent the 740,000 people who call the second congressional district home. And I'm so thankful and privileged that each of you are sharing in this really historic moment, this historic moment for our district, for our Commonwealth and for our country. It's the day.
day we it's the day we start to get our country back on the right track. <laughs> so thank you so much for just electing me to to office to serve you again. You know, God bless each and every one of you. God bless the Commonwealth of Virginia and God bless our great United States of America. Thank you so much.